Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Echo Quest for the DOS, the final part. Yes folks, we are going to finish the game today. And hopefully today we will find Cetus, so let's continue north I believe. Because that cable seems to be pointing in that direction, so let's go. The whale call continues to echo from somewhere above the ship. Adam holds his breath with anticipation and swims up to investigate. Following the talk cable up and up towards the surface light. What the hell was that? It sounded like a door creaking. Kind of a freaky noise. Up, up, and not looking where he's going. <laughs> hey, it's Cetus! Until suddenly... Whoa! It's Cetus! Alright, let's swim towards him, folks. Man, that is one monster-sized whale, let me tell you. Oh, I think you gotta actually... I think you gotta... Use that. With a mixture of joy and fear, Adam approaches the mighty whale. Poor Cetus is harpooned in place, we gotta help him. Your Majesty, you're hurt. No wonder you've been missing. You're trapped here by that harpoon. Yes, child, and you are the one. Foretold, I fear you may be too late. But what happened? How did you get harpooned? It was Flesh, Eater. I heard him cry out and went to help. He tricked me into the whaler's path. Can't you get free? You can't just die. Aluria needs you. The harpoon holds me fast. I cannot get it out of my mouth. I am so weak. I have not long. Sita sinks into unconsciousness, and as and his great eye shuts, the harpoon wound has become infected, and he is near starvation from being trapped in this one spot. Cetus is getting weaker by the moment. Oh man, uh, what do we do here? Hmm. All right, I think I know what I need to do first. Um, I think we gotta. I think we gotta enter his mouth first, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, let me cut this, uh... I think we actually have to cut this wire. For, no, no, I don't want the key. Drop it. Uh, let me just get back in there again. Press the wrong item. I was trying to go for the saw. Cutting the harpoon at this end would be useless since the barbed head... Okay. Yeah, we have to swim into Cetus's mouth. So we have to get back into the background here, or the foreground, rather. And wait for Cetus to open his mouth, and then we gotta make a mad dash in. See, like he's doing right there. And we gotta wait for his mouth to open again. From here, Adam can see that the unconscious Cetus jaw has grown slack. His mouth opens and closes in a regular rhythm. Alright, let me get my hand and wait for his mouth to open and then we enter. Adam decides to make a dash for Cetus's moving mouth. We have to cut the harpoon from inside him. Alright, let's see. Now we gotta get the saw and cut this harpoon off of him. Alright, we cut the harpoon loose from his mouth. Adam uses the industrial saw to cut through the harpoon shaft. The barbed harpoon head falls to the bottom of the sea. Alright, now how are we going to work this thing out? Adam can't pull the harpoon out from inside the mouth. The cable's still attached. Okay. So now we're going to work our way back out again. So let's go. We'll have to pull it out from the outside. Yeah, it takes a little bit of work to get Cetus free of this harpoon, but we're almost done. Alright, now we got Alright, though Adam has removed the harpoon head, the harpoon shaft is still lodged in the wound. Yeah, we'll take care of that in a minute. Adam decides to get closer to the outside of the whale. Alright, let's go. Yeah, we're almost done with this operation, Cetus. Hang in there. Alright, now we gotta work this shaft out of his wound here. Adam carefully works the shaft backwards through the wound. Alright. And now, folks, for the final part. We gotta take... Remember, Demeter gave us a potion. We gotta use this to uh, heal Cetus' wound. So let's do it. Adam uses Demeter's precious store of medicine on the wound. Come on, Cetus, get better. I need your help to save Delphinius. 
He's in grave peril. Cetus, you're awake. Are you feeling okay? Are you gonna make it? Be calm, child. I am much better. I feel the wound already healing. You have saved me. Now that you're better, we have to save Delphinius. Flesh Eater took him and he's in terrible danger. Flesh Eater, it is time to end the killing. I will call him forth. You must go rescue the dolphin. Alright, we got Cetus' help now, folks. Oh, this is some pretty wicked music. Oh, man. Meanwhile, Delphinius is reliving the nightmare of being trapped in a drift net. Unable to reach the surface for air. Unable to free himself. This time, however, Flesh Eater is there to add to his terror as he circles the dolphin, waiting for his victim's struggles to cease. Hang in there, Del! Help is on the way! That demonic manta ray of doom is gonna die! Oh boy! Just as Delphinius arrives at a grim acceptance of his fate, a challenge echoes from outside the lair. Rise, cowardly one! Leave your foul lair and prepare to meet your doom! No more shall you trouble my people, for Cetus has returned! Enraged at the great king has escaped his prison, Flesh Eater wheels from the cave. Looks like Delphinius is spared for the moment. Go into the lair! Save the dolphin while you can, little one, before it's too late! Oh boy! Flesh Eater coming out to play against Cetus! And now those two are gonna rumble, and in the meantime, let's go into Flesh Eater's lair and try to save Del while that battle's going on. Now that Flesh Eater is distracted by the mighty whale, Adam is free to enter the beast's lair. Alright, Del, I'm coming to save you, buddy. Hang on! Oh boy. Let's see how Dell's doing. I'll get you out as fast as I can. Hang in there, Delphinius. Don't give up on me. Alright, let's see. Let's get that sharp shell from Epidermis. Man, we've had to use this thing a lot. It's been awfully helpful. The work I wasn't trying to click the walls game. Yeah, click the drift net. Free Dell. Oh man, I'm glad you showed up. I'm about ready to suffocate. Now we cut Del free. I hate this nylon stuff. I'm cutting as fast as I can. Hold on, Delphidius. Just another second, I promise. I'm out of here to grab some air, dude. Kiss up the chat. I'll see you outside. <laughs> Poor Del. Alright, now we're done in Flesh Eater's lair. I wonder how Cetus is doing. Hopefully he's holding his own right now. Looks like Cetus is knocking him away with his tail. Oh boy. Let me talk to Cetus. The whale is struggling to maintain his ground in the battle and isn't paying attention to Adam. Okay. <laughs> Let's eye the battle. Cetus is losing ground in the battle. Flesh Eater shrewdly concentrates his attacks on the whale's harpoon wound, and Cetus in return seems unable to land a solid blow against his quick moving opponent. Despite his bravery, Cetus clearly could use some help. Yes, and the game is trying to tell you. Use the lionfish's killer spine of death. You want to try to sting the uh, flesh eater so you weaken him. And we gotta wait for an opening. We gotta wait for the flesh eater to slow down a little bit. Adam arms himself with the tiny lionfish spine and with all the courage he can muster and heads towards the black monster. But before he can wild his weapon, he is spotted by the mana and flicked disdainfully away. Alright, he'll have to be more careful on his approach if he's to get close enough to use the spine. Okay. And let's try again, after Cetus knocks him senseless a little bit. Hopefully we can catch him on the way back. Aha! While the man is distracted by Cetus, Adam manages to get close to one huge black wing. And pierce the tough hide with the lionfish spine. Oh yeah! There's a moment of terror in which Adam is sure the poison will not be enough to even slow down the huge beast. Ooh! But it's enough to make him hesitate in his attack, if only for a moment. And that moment is enough. Hooray! Flesh Eater has been grounded! 
See this, it's really you, and you killed Flesh Eater. Unbelievable. I'm glad to see you are safe, my great friend, but the man is not dead, only stunned. With time, he might even recover from the toxins that caused his mutation and become the harmless Manta he once was. But where were you, and how did Adam find you, and why did you disappear for so long, and how? There will be time for all that later. Right now, there's a city I'm longing to see and a hero to be thanked. Yeah, folks, we finally made it to the end of Echo Quest. It's been a hell of a journey, folks. In a true champion's welcome, Adam rides on the back of King Cetus in a slow procession to the city. Cetus bellows an announcement of their triumphant return. Come forth, children! Greet thy king and the boy called Adam! Adam slips off the back of the mighty whale and swims to join the happy Illyrians. This music's epic. Congratulations, Adam! I'm so moved! <laughs> Bravo! I knew a strapping lad like you could do it! Like, unbelievably radical, Adam! Major way to go! You have proven yourself one with the greens, Adam. Good show, old boy! Quite spectacular, indeed! You're a real hero now, Adam! Yup! It is as well that you did the job, Adam, since I did not have the time, Moab. You did almost as well as I would have, mon ami. You were very, very brave, Adam. Child of man, to you we owe our lives, our thanks we now bestow. Adam, you have rescued me from certain death. You have helped put an end to Flesh Eater's reign of terror. You have saved Aloria from ruin. You have made us believe that mankind is perhaps not the enemy we feared it to be. That man can even be a friend. Thank you, Great Cetus. I have learned much from all of you, too. Hey, what's this? Take this conch. If you ever need a friend in the sea, blow the conch and help will come. Thank you, Cetus. This is epicness at its best. Poseidon's conch. Wow, thank you, your majesty. Now home with you, child. Delphinius, I believe your friend could use a ride back to the land of men. He looks a little worn out. Yes, sir, your majesty. Grab a thin, Adam. Adam bids farewell to Illyria and King Cetus, and grabbing onto Delphinius' dorsal fin, hangs on tight for the long ride home. Delphinius? Yeah, Adam? Will I ever see you again? What? Are you kidding? You and your dad, Diver Dance? You'll see a hundred dolphins in your lifetime, Adam. One of these days, one of those dolphins will be me. I love you, Delphinius. Aw, oh, get out of here, you nut, ya. I love you, too. <laughs> and Adam waves goodbye to his friend. <laughs> That's quite a leap, though. And there you have it, folks. That's Echo Quest for the DOS. I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I know I enjoyed it immensely. <laughs> and telling all those bad jokes was very fun. Alrighty, folks. Believe it or not, my next Let's Play coming up is going to be a redone one. I'm going to be doing Kirby Superstar Ultra for the Nintendo DS. I hope you guys will join me for that one, and I'll see you all later. Peace out, peoples.